Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh yeah, that's right. Hey, you want to see something really cool? Take a look at this picture from Barb Lund Morse. This was tonight's sunset. Oh wow. Of course, they had some big band of thunderstorms move, rolling over the Billings area and it's just kind of a beautiful shot as the sun was reflecting off the bottom of the clouds. Huh? Nice looking shot. Let me show you another one. Take a look at this shot. This comes from Tammy Jo Brasher. This is uh, also sunsetting tonight, but this one is from the Pryor Mountain. So kind of a cool looking shot there. And here's the way things are shaping up Billings right now. Hey, it's not too bad right now. It's 79 degrees. We have partly cloudy skies, a few clouds here or there. Well, those clouds are expected to clear up as the night goes on. Wind is calm at the moment. Humidity is downright crunchy at 23%. That's why it feels like 78 degrees out there instead of 79. 93 was our high temp today. The average high is 87. The record was 102. So back in 2018 and the record low is 47 back in 1947. And when it comes to precipitation, nothing new to add to the totals today. But we're still ahead of normal because we had that big gully washer a few days ago where we got over an inch of rainfall. So here's where we are for the year. Also a little bit behind average, but not too far. We're at almost uh, nine and a half. We need to be at almost 9.6 inches. But as you'll see here, our current temps around the state have cooled off a little bit. We're cooling back down into the 60s and the 70s out in the west. Uh, Kalispell right now is 63. No report from Cutback or from Haver, but we're into the 70s back here across eastern Montana. But look at our reported highs for the day. It was a warm one. Look at all these 90s back here in eastern Montana. 98 at Glendive, I should say Miles City. 97 at Glendive. 97 over in Sheridan. Elsewhere in the west into the 80s and 90s out there as well. Billings and Livingston both at 93 degrees today. It was toasty. Now we still have this to talk about. Uh, on our threat board, we still have a red flag warning for almost all of eastern Montana. Two counties not involved. That is Fallon and Carter County. And this stays with us through tonight and throughout most of Wednesday and on into Thursday. High winds, low humidity, and warm temperatures will cause some erratic fire behavior. And if the uh, fires get going, they will burn out of control in a hurry because of the wind, warm temperatures, and the dry conditions as well. And so uh, let me show you just how dry it is out there. Fire danger map shows right here this area in orange. That is where we have very high fire danger. In the yellows, that's high danger. Here in Billings, Yellowstone County, we have, have them both right now, high to very high. Areas highlighted in red, that's where we have extremely high fire danger. Back here in eastern Montana, we've had some spotty showers here that it's helped a little bit, so they have moderately dry conditions in that area. So let's move on and show you tonight. We did have a 50 mile per hour wind as that thunder shower went to the north of Billings tonight. That started over there in Yellowstone National Park. A little bit of monsoonal moisture in the four corner states made their way up in towards the Great Basin area. And then that high pressure cell here pushed that stuff right across the state uh, line and in towards uh, the, the Beartooth Mountains tonight. But we did have a warm front today, and that's warming things up. That's why I got up into the 90s. Now, that warm air sticks around through most of tomorrow, but you'll notice by tomorrow night, here comes a new cold front. It will bring some more scattered rain showers with it, and then also some cooler temperatures, because by Wednesday night on into Thursday, that whole cold front pushes on through. Cooler temperatures follows in behind that. You'll see partly cloudy skies as well. So in the meantime, here's what we're looking at tonight. Temps cooling back down into the 50s, some low 60s. For the most part, the big storm have come and gone. They've kind of moved out of eastern Montana. Then for tomorrow, how about getting back into the heat again? 99 at Glendive, Mile City 100, 101 over Forsyth. That area highlighted in pink. That is where we have the red flag warning. Billings high temp tomorrow about 95. But tonight, we'll cool back down to around 63 with clearing skies. Next seven days, check this out. It will be 95 with a 20% chance for afternoon rain showers on Wednesday. And then we cool down for about four days into the 80s with mostly sunny skies. Monday and Tuesday, back to the low 90s and back to mostly sunny skies. Let's look at the weather. Let's go back to Russ. All right, thank you, Bob. Straight ahead on the MTN 10 o'clock news here on Q2. A coronavirus vaccine is granted approval, but some health officials are saying not so fast. That story coming right up.